Bucknell's men's basketball team opened the Patriot League tournament on Wednesday night at Circuit Pavilion as the number four seed, hosting number five Army, a team that they split with during the regular season in Patriot League play. The Bison came into the Patriot League tournament as the hottest team in the league, having won six straight, but they found themselves down by 11 points in the first half, thanks in part to hot shooting by the Black Knights from the three-point range, where they were seven of 15. Bucknell used a late 10-2 run in the first half to take a halftime lead of 39-36. Unfortunately for Bucknell, they would go cold over the final three and a half minutes of the contest as Army's Kyle Wilson scored the final nine points of the game for the Black Knights, including this fadeaway jumper with 12.5 seconds left to give Army a 72-71 lead. Bucknell had one last shot at the win, but the jumper from the corner hit the rim as time expired as Bucknell falls 72-71 to Army. The loss ends the career of one of the most successful senior classes in Bucknell history, and Cameron Ayers finishes his outstanding career ninth on the all-time scoring list with 1,526 points. Following the game, Army head coach Zach Spiker talked about how big of a win this was for the program, especially coming at Bucknell. If you, if you look at conference terms... And you look at seating, and you said four or five was going to be a dog fight. And that's exactly what this was. To, to get out rebounded 42 to 27. We won 80% of our games when we won the rebounding battle. Uh, we got out rebounded in a major way. And that's been really, I think, what the calling card has been Coach Paulson's team during this last eight, seven, eight game stretch. Us and Bucknell have been the two most consistent programs the last two years, finishing in the top half of the league each the last two years. Um, but that's why it's a big win for us. I mean, we just got a ton of respect for these guys. And, uh, we're fortunate to get out of here. Um, everybody in this room, myself included, thought Cam Ayers, top of the key, right? That's down. That's down a whole lot of times. A whole lot of times he's hit that shot in pressure situations. Uh, I mean, I think that mainly had to do with just my mentality the first time. I, I don't think I was being aggressive enough. Yeah, I mean, this time I was really looking for my shots whenever they came, and guys are making great plays. For Bucknell head coach Dave Paulson, the loss was bittersweet, knowing that he won't have the opportunity to coach some of the players ever again. A lot of guys that are just uh, despondent in that locker room, um, you know, which is a reflection of how much you know, they poured into not only this game, uh, but this season. Um, you know, certainly we were. You know, we were up seven with whatever the time was and and uh, had some good looks that didn't go down. Uh, a couple of huge turnovers. Um, you know, a three. It was the only th I think the only three that Wilson got the whole game. Uh, you know, and, and they just came up with, give them credit, they came up with the, with the winning plays down the stretch and, and we didn't. And, uh, you know, we had 17 turnovers. You know, we're one of the lowest turnover team in the country. We're 11 for 19 from the foul line. We're one of the best shooting free throw shooting teams in the country. Um, so those things really add up in a one possession game in a playoff game. Uh, having said that, you know, and, 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 and we want that to burn in our guys' head, the guys that are coming back, um, because we, you know, we want to win championships here. Um, but the second message to our team was that, you know, we were left for dead on the curb uh, a month ago. And these guys really fought and scratched and clawed to put together a six-game winning streak and really play with an edge and a level of toughness. And you know, I'm just disappointed because I, I want to keep coaching these guys. And, uh, and most especially, you know, our great senior class and, 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 and Cameron Ayers, who, you know, has just meant everything. He's, he's been part of more winning than anyone in the history up now, uh, a big part, um, and uh, you know, it, it, it's been a real honor to coach them, and uh, you know, it's just very sad to think that uh, I won't be coaching them anymore. They're really physical, and you know, they don't get tired often, so um, you know, try to give them different looks, try to run different sets, um, you know, but they always seem to be there. I thought we played um, well offensively and defensively. Um, you know, they came up with uh, a couple more plays than we did. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're a very physical team. And, you know, they get into you and they press you 40 minutes. 
so you can't really take a break. At Soika Pavilion on the campus of Bucknell University in Lewisburg, Sean Wood for the Daily Item Online.